All right, so let's get ready here to continue our first playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, Zero Dawn, I'm so used to saying that, but it's Horizon Forbidden West now. <laughs> Where we last left off, we are on the main quest to the brink. And we have just made it to uh, the dawned area here of the game. Uh, we did complete like one side quest in this area, but that's basically it in terms of what we have done. Um, so I guess we'll <clears throat> I guess we'll just continue our journey. And Michael, thanks for the flex, showing your superiority. And for those who are wondering, I am playing on. Uh, where do you show it? Where is difficulty located? Where does it say story? Very hard, please. I am playing on very hard and it's an explore mode. I think it changed because for the YouTube video I quickly booted up a story playthrough just to get a photo mode shot. And on that playthrough I just did story to quickly get to a spot where I could get a good photo. So I guess when you change difficulty on another playthrough it also changes it in this one. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Oh, you guys can pretend I was on story the entire time. <laughs> I don't care what you guys think, because I got nothing to prove. I guess we should head in here and uh, see what's up. What is the objective in here again? It is Chainscape and... Oh. It just says go to Chainscape. Or oh, Scrape, sorry. There's nothing on the map we've missed so far, right? I don't really know. Yeah, I guess we're getting an upgrade for the bow in here, which will be very nice. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Yes, please. Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Door of Sorrows. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. Nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I guess we're meeting Petra already. Nice. Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland. You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story, best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, flame hair. Good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. It's going to be hard to say no to that. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. All right. So many NPCs around. Workbench is free if you need to tinker with that gear of yours. Thank you, kind sir. All right, let's see what we can do here. Weapon upgrades, let's go. So, we have both sling and thunder bow. Is the upgrade free? 
I guess you select and then uh, 50 shards and one braided wire. That's pretty cheap. Go for it. Level one. Uh, upgrade complete. Weapon states improved. New weapon attributes. Acid hunter arrows. Nice. I feel like acid is not going to be that great. We can upgrade it already to level two, I guess. Why not? Level two. Weapon stats improved. Nice. And uh, what's level three? We need a barrel of sound shell. Hmm. I'll keep a lookout for that, I guess. Um, can we upgrade sling here? We sure can. Weapon stats improved. And let's just go for the second one as well. These are only green weapons. I assume I'm going to get better later, but seems like we have a lot of resources, so... Uh, we need another braided wire for the full upgrade, I guess, because we already have a bristleback tusk, apparently. Good to know. Oh, outfit. Uh, what does this do? do, 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 do. Hmm. Better defense against acid, melee, and damage, I guess. Might as well upgrade it. Got the resources. You can also go for a tier 2, so why not? And for the third one, we need Fanghorn Handler and Dirty Hot Plate. Cool. Trap stuff. We can just craft traps. Potion crafting. Pouch upgrades. Ooh. Resource upgrade. We need Boar Hide and Boar Bone. Boon. Oh yeah, so we definitely still need to kill animals so we can get some upgrades for that. Even though I feel like you could already carry a lot of loot in the very beginning of the game. Oh, hi! What's this? An ammo that deals acid there damage is now are. available in inventory. Uh, use your focus on it. Sure. I'll figure it out. This should be useful. How am I supposed to work with now I just need to find Erend and help him clear the bristlebacks. Oh. I guess that's all we need to do here. Um, can I talk to this guy? Oh, we can. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. No. I guess the shop is just closed right now, so we can't get better weapons. Fair enough then. Uh, Lewis, thank you so much for the four month freeze up. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the tribe. Oh, sorry. Thanks for your continued support and continued part of being in the L tribe. Enjoy your emotes. Hope you're doing well. How are we finding the game so far? Very enjoyable. What is this? This is my stash. Can be found in every settlement as well as many other locations throughout the world. When you gather items beyond your carrying capacity, excess items will be sent to the stash. From here, you can retrieve items individually or restock all your resources by holding square. Ooh. This is, uh, this is uh, I guess, a very uh, good thing for all the people that like to loot literally everything. <laughs> oh, we actually do have some of the stuff, I think. Well, great. Restart all categories. Let's see, can we an upgrade now? <clears throat> we still need to borrow a thing for this one, but I think we had the thing for the outfit, didn't we? Uh, no, we... what are we missing? Enough resources. Oh, it's the... Okay, we still need two of them. I read, read it wrong the first time, apparently. Oh. What about sling? Still need one more braided wire. Can see the outfits here, maybe? Can I talk to you? Sir? I guess I can talk to him right now. Fine. But why is there an icon above your head, sir, if I can't hey, talk to you? Hey, I thought you'd left by now. Took you long enough. Hi, Dad. Why is my triangle button not working? I'm pressing triangle and they're saying nothing. Greetings. Bamboozling. Ready to go? 
<sighs> Being bamboos. What's down here? Yeah, we can talk to over here. Olven can't just ignore us like this, can he? We almost died because of him. Oh, it's the guys Have we you saved. seen us? What are we supposed to do? Have Arnold throw his crutch at him? I see you all made it back. Hammer and tongs. That they did, Huntress. They tell me you blasted through the problem. Lokuf here came back trembling like a twig. Hey! What's important is everyone made it out. No thanks to Olven. Have you talked to him yet? We're on the waiting list. Doesn't have the guts to face all of us at once. <laughs> we need to stick together. In case he decides to send his goons over. You're all banged up as it is. I can deal with Olven. You don't need to stick around. We know, the old hammer. <laughs> Just stay safe. Well, pretty cool you can uh, meet people again that uh, I guess you have done side quests for. Going back to after all this? I assume a lot of maybe the Osram side quests, maybe they show up here once you've completed it, because it looks like there's plenty of space for more stuff. Didn't expect to see you up and about. Awesome. Just want to explore this town a little bit, just to see what's around. Main quest wise, yeah, we just have to go to the other space to find Aaron, I guess. I bet you've got good stuff. Never met a beer I didn't like, or couldn't finish. Never met a peer I didn't like or couldn't finish. You sound like my brother. <laughs> we are on the same side here, Olvind. The bristlebacks threaten us all. That's Olvind. Oh, drop I don't want to talk to him, Jesse. We all know it was the card you let the. I'm interested to see what that side quest is about. What is this supposed to be? Looks like a lot of sleeping quarters, a lot of uh, bars of bronze, I assume. Some sort of ore. The land that should you sign the decree. Oh, you and that damned concession decree. Would be managed by the people. Serious fighting, not a drunk. Ooh, fighting. New melee pit, chain scrape. Ooh, sounds fun. I'll try that in a bit. Come on over here. Practice melee combat, I guess. I assume in here that's the brewery with Petra. Mm, steal it, no one will snitch. You'd left by now. I feel like uh, stealing from the from an around is probably. Wait, can we use this? We can knock off machine parts. Is this usable or is it just for show? That looks dope. Massive uh, harpoon thingy. I'm gonna beat up some more bugged hits. Oh yeah, I gotta remember I have these new speed attacks now. So it's uh, 3 times R1, 2, 3, and then R2. Nice. I actually forgot to check, did we have any skill points? No. Sadly not. More dummies or bugger heads to beat up. But I have a feeling that's gonna be a trophy for having destroyed all of them. If not, well, at least we have gotten rid of the bucket heads. Because they might do a violent uprising at some point. We can't let that happen. Uh, so here, I guess that's the brewery. Leave none alive, exactly. What's up here? What's up, sir? Can I talk to you? You're just gonna ignore me like the other guy. I assume you have a purpose at some point. This place is really busted. Back here. Oh, outside. Side quest down here. Is this where Petra is going to be? 
I don't want to talk to Petra. I guess she's not here unless we just have to talk to this guy. Mildef. Oh, look at those pigs roasting. One hell of a feast. Also, can we talk about how much of a jam this song is? I was playing in here. Petra is not in here, is she? Oh, there's a data point. That's right. Thought was gonna get me too. Got another data point. My eyebrows. Scroll. I complain from smut. Uh, smudge with ash and filled with angry glyphs. Javad, please help. The product in question na uh, maimed me. I filled out the required form below and and I still can't even get uh, sorry and I still can't even get a refund from Dilla and Boomer. There's a guy literally called Boomer. Nice. I beg you, give me justice. Complaint. Uh, complain. Complainant. Uh, Jordan Godsman. Uh, product description. Bang Buster, I think. Or Boom Buster. Doesn't matter. I thought it I bought it three days ago. Or I brought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Incident description. Again, I t I told you. I I was demonstrating the uh, scorched out hammer of my fellow guardsman by slamming it one on a sorry, by slamming it on a piece of rock, and instead of booming the rock it boomed towards me and now I don't have my any eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell since I no longer have eyebrows. So so in case you weren't aware, let me tell you. I'm very unhappy and I want my shots back. Refund denied. Customer was made fully aware of the prototype's uh, vol vol volatility at the time of purchase. Proceeded with purchase regardless, proclaiming I'm not a baby. Who knew the Othram had uh, customer complaints? <laughs> What's down here? Hey, Petra! Sure, let's get some brew. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah. Don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. Uh, let's ask about this Olven guy first, because he sounds like he's gonna be very interesting. So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Hmm. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. 
it would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. Hmm. So the Bristlebacks in the Daunt. <sighs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. Oh, is there a coming? I thought we were going to get a quest out of this, but I guess we just got some nice info. That's cool, too. Play a man machine strike. Oh, God. Board games. Oh, my weakness. Guess we have to try it, but... I'm not good at these games. Also, can we just talk about how much the dialogue has like improved in this game? Like uh, animation-wise and stuff. Like, hey, goddamn, Ren. so good. Uh, fancy a game of strike? Ah, come to revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I. Hmm. First timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set, a Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. I'm gonna be so bad at this. I'm just gonna let you guys know. <laughs> I'm usually not good at these. Beginner's tutorial. Oh boy. Let's go. Beginner said. I guess two bars. Two. All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points mm. by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so you see that number on oh. the top right corner? Mm -hmm. That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Gotcha. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, hmm. and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. 
Seems simple Usually enough. you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Hmm. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. Hmm. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to attack one of my machines. When You'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. I see. This means your machine can do two points. Did you get all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Oh. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. I mean, Let's try I'm doing sure that this is going to be so something complicated. I mean. They could easily make a complete spin-off game here. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Overcharge it. That's about it for your turn, then. And by the way, uh, Oscar, thank you so much for the prime sub. I'll let really you appreciate it. Trick. That machine welcome yours, to all tribe enjoy emotes and welcome to chat. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. All right. Uh. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But... If you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. But by the look of your machine's IP. health, you would be sacrifice, sacrificing yeah. your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, so we just sacrifice it. Gotcha. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Oh. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. Oh, you can win off a trade then. Sometimes gotcha. losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but 
you did destroy all my pieces. So that's a win. That means yeah. you're the winner. That wasn't okay. so hard. Simple enough, was it? actually. Just remember to always I'm sure it'll get a lot more complicated. From. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I'm sure we have to collect some pieces to my get here. a good set eventually. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor, though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know, I've lost my fair share of pieces after <laughs> night of machine hunting or brew hopping. <laughs> no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. I mean, this actually Thanks. sounds like a really fun um, game. Think about it. Tutorial complete. Awesome. Uh, terrain, knock back tutorial. Bean. Uh, I kind of feel like just going for a legit battle. Then we can always come back and do more tutorials eventually. Uh oh. 30x, 30x, 4x. Let's try this Good challenge. Luck. This is gonna be a beginner match, so I assume she doesn't have any crazy peaches, pieces out of nowhere. Alright. Uh, where do we want to start? What's one in the grass? I feel like I can go opening strategy is to have like have them like with some space Your in turn. between. Plus four attack. Yeah. Okay. I might be overthinking this, but let's just see how it goes. Was that a sprint? Hmm. Board's all yours. Um. Go for the attack here. Do we overcharge? Sure. Just one piece left. To make it a one on one? That sure dampens the forge. Hmm. I am open to attack from here, I guess. Let me rotate here and maybe not. Do I have to move? Can I just end my turn here? I guess maybe I just should just go for an attack. I guess you have to move your piece every round, I guess. Yeah, so let's just put it in my favor here. My turn. Keep it simple, I guess. Alright, you made it a that one on one. Was brutal. I won! Okay, oh, I did not I'll expect you, you could do won. that, but GG. Hmm. Let's do that again. This? is gonna be fun i forgot she could just yeah overcharge i guess should have thought about that <sighs> let's play a little bit more defensively i guess you're up red i 
I'm up. That's it for me. Could have a chance and just trade it. But then she's gonna go for the kill, I feel like. I feel like it's a bad strategy to go on the blacks immediately. I, I shouldn't do that, I guess. I'm not great at these board games, but we'll see how it goes. Oh! Your move, Red. You're just gonna leave me like that? Overcharts, minus two. We can afford that. I got a tough fight ahead of me. And then. Over charts for the win. Ah. <laughs> GG, I guess. Looks like I lost. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to think of it more simply. But nice. Yeah, just need to uh, keep it more simple, I guess. In a medium. Opponent set. She has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for another one. <laughs> Here we go. More pieces, though. And she is starting this time. two moves at a time gotcha. it's all yours uh we could go for the, the clean wipe and just this one i guess and overcharge it Play a little passive Time for now. Get serious. Your move, Red. Ah, knocked right off the board. Wait, what? Oh, was that because he was weak there? done now oh well, i guess i can afford to trade there even though it lost a bit of hp i'm up that's it for me hey oh that was the perfect spot nice ah off the board it goes yeah, I'm not done moving here yet, so... Uh... Yeah, let me take away the screen square so they can't use it. Okay. 
Let's see. You're up, Red. I've kind of taken this piece out of the equation almost, but... Oh well, um... Yeah, we can go for uh... That one hurt. Weak spot attack. Minus two, yeah, it's worth it. She only has one piece left. Just one piece left. Um, I guess I should just, yeah, I should just gang up on it. Again, ah, I, I'm not that easy to get it. through my machine's armor, is it? Let's go for the... Might as well overcharge it, because we're losing the piece anyway, I think. Oh, no, she's attacking that one. One less okay. piece on the board. Well, I meant, didn't think of that, but uh, fair enough. Uh, let's force her to get close first. Time to make my move. Can she hit me again? Oh yeah, she can. Rip. Guess luck's not on your side today, Red. Should have moved uh, further north or higher up on the board. Let's Pretty do start this. That match. I can definitely beat this. I'm just getting the hang of this game. <laughs> yeah, you 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 gotta rem remember, I guess, how much damage they can actually do. Keep my two barrels close. Instead of a trade over here. In case that's what's gonna happen. Let's do this for now. Your turn. Hmm. to get serious. That's it for me. Armor is your best friend in this game, I'm telling you. I gotta keep in mind the armor thing as well. I'm not thinking about that. Um, I could just overcharge here and just take it out. But then obviously she just gets the free one. She's not gonna be able to land uh if she goes for the killing blow with both of them, then these two will be separated. Charge no. Is it worth just overcharging? Take it out. Mm. Yeah, because she's probably just gonna gang up it anyway, right? Finish it. Ah, off the board it goes. That was brutal. Board's all yours. Ah, 
knocked right off the board. A single machine left? That ain't good. Weak spots on both sides here. Since I have the two pieces, let's just force her to move close to me. Set up the bait, I guess. I'm up. And no, she's not going for it. Fair enough. You're up, Red. Yeah, and say I blame her. Now that you got me, fair nice. and square. Okay, easy win, I guess. One was a lot easier. We're gonna practice hard. Let's go for the hard one, I guess. We are already here. I probably won't Let's play fight. this all day, but just wanna. Might as well go through all the beginner matches right away. He's going very far back here. Your I know I just have them in line, but don't really hear all that much. Scrounger. Scrounger can move really far. Yeah, I should have put him for the... Move the small pieces first. Your turn. Is that the weak spot on the back? Yeah, it has the weak spot on the back. Well, that's done now. Make sure she doesn't get the kill here. One less piece on the board. <sighs> Knocked right off the board. Okay, let's see. I was willing to trade that piece, I guess. Board's all yours. Piece on the board. Now that was a game, even if I lost. I mean, that was supposed to be hard, but that one was actually pretty a lot easier, I feel like. Let's do this. Go oh, in, I hit retry. Glossary? Oh, that's uh. Indigate here? Okay. I didn't want to replay it. I accidentally hit triangle there. All right, we got all the beginner ones out of the way. Regular challenge. Uh, 
Sure, let's just go for the regular challenge since it's already here. I guess we need to create a new set. Let's see, opponent set. Seems like she has a good set. One have two of those. Uh, and I take away one of them. I don't save. All right. Um, let's get two barrows because they're good to have. Get both of these. Oh, you press square to remove them. Let's go for it. Let's play. This is the regular challenge. Right. Set up my barrel over here. I feel like it lags a little bit. Whenever you to scroll through here. Grab her here. That's it for me. All right. We end play. So let's go for it. I feel like you don't want to be the one that starts here. Seems like you're in slight disadvantage to be the one that starts. Your turn. Wait, she's just gonna go for that right away. Seems like a dumb strat, unless there's something I'm overlooking here. Uh, well, I can't get the overcharge kill. This one sitting over here, which we could just bag, I guess. You know what? I'm, I think I'm just gonna let that one sit. What she was going for. You're up, Red. That leaves that one exposed. Oh wait. Wait, can I not attack there? Oh wait, I sprint so I couldn't attack. I made a mistake there. Whoops. She got control of the middle here. Okay, let's see. Nice. 
Oh, she knocked it into it. I see. Clever. Ah, off the board he goes. That was brutal. Ah, off the board he goes. I guess I got the advantage back. Time to get serious. That was a surprise. Is it worth just taking it out? Right off the board. That's the game. You up for a rematch? Hmm. Yeah, I played that terribly. Good luck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just playing strike here, but it's actually kind of a fun game. Board's all yours. Let's go. Scrabber is a ranged unit? Oh. So that's why. Ah, I was hoping you wouldn't do that. Done now. Yeah, she traded that one. That's fine. So I'm just weak from the back. Not over charging. Let's just take it up. One less piece on the board. from the side so she's gonna take it out if I kill it here
time to get serious. You're up, Red. Hmm. Rappers just kind of sitting back here, I guess. And move it like that. Let's just clear that one out. Knock it right off the board. One less piece on the board. So now I set myself up where I only need like one point to win. And she has to score five. So should be Your doable turn. here. Yeah, that's right there, GG. Well, spark my forge. You have beaten me on every one of my boards. Now that deserves a prize, I say. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Crystal bag strike piece. Let's go. All right. I'll see you later, Aloy. Bro, All right. Hopefully I'll get better at strike over time. And hopefully strike is not included in 100%. <laughs> But that could be a very interesting part of a speedrun. It'd be like Gwendon 100% speedruns of Witcher 3. Alright, let's go for a side quest now, I guess. Let's talk to uh, Mildef here. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hold. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. By the way, the music is still so good in this area. <laughs> Such a jam in here. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. All right. 
a dash of courage. So where are we going for this? Looks like we're leaving Townwood. Uh, what was it we were supposed to do? Gather a bit of leaf, uh, gather wild meat, and go to... What does that say? Scrounger side. Gotcha. I guess that's what we are gonna do now. Since we're here, we might as well start the other quest with Ulwind. So let's finally talk to this guy. Oh, all wouldn't, sorry. We are on the same... What do you want, Olvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freeholder, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. All right. Work started. You and Cardia. Guess you and Cardia first. Also, I assume the the preach ballot or the preach priest. Sorry. Um, he mentioned that he needed to talk, so I assume we're going to get a quest from him too, maybe? You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. I see. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, <laughs> and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. 
I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents and barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. This guy needs a PR manager. <laughs> like, goddamn. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. The bristlebacks. All right. Where's that little brink? Why do I not see it on the map? Hmm. Fair enough. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Yeah, let's talk to him before we head out. I mean, he was basically just doing like politics talk, that guy, so. If I'm drunk, you. you. Know. <laughs> uh, savior, over here. Uh, let's talk to this Jawad the Willing. Savior, thank you for taking the time. My condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the dawn? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry but unless they have wings i don't know about i don't see how they could have come over the mountains no other way in the only way i know about is barren light look if you can get to the bottom of this i can offer a considerable bounty in return help me shut olvent up <laughs> i mean if it shuts him up i feel like that's almost enough for reward am i read that's the character description? You mean in Cyrodon? Yes. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. Hmm. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, 
I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. No one will know anything, but why kill him when we can humiliate him? Sometimes humiliating is more interesting. Dash of courage. That tells me to get wild meat over here. But anyway, let's do a dash of courage first. Also, this sun priest. I'm not sure I can trust him. Because there's a lot of things you do and don't do. And one of the don'ts is you don't complain about the car jail. Now that's disrespectful. We just jump over the fence. Nice. That's an easier way out. <laughs> Alright, let's uh what's the objective over here? Get a bit of leaf. Gotcha. Uh probably the green ones here? Yes. It seems like bitter leaf likes to grow on rocky terrain. Okay. I think also I have need five pieces leaf. of meat. Cooking with elk, indeed. Probably it. Also, make sure I get the medicine. pieces. Barrows around here. Send this to my stash. It's apparently uh, Gara aiming in Cyrodon. Oh, sorry, in Forbidden West. It's apparently somewhere in the accessibility menu. I'm personally not a fan of using stuff like that, but it's somewhere in the accessibility menu, I have been told. So check there. Spot it. Gotta move. And what was the last one here? Go to the scoundrel side. Oh. Hello. Arrows throwing the rocks again. Didn't realize you guys had so good aim. Okay, barrels have good aim. I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> I've heard a decent amount of people say Gyro Aim actually helps them a lot in uh, games that have it, but yeah, I'm not really a fan. Scrambles. Mold of said I could find another panel in one of their scrap books. guys. Oh, 
in there. I guess we can do have to clear out these guys. Riesling has certainly been upgraded. It's still quite weak. Enemies are tough in this game. For the scrap piles for a metal panel. I think I have everything I need for metal. Good thing too. I can use a decent meal. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. Right, I guess that's it. Scrappers have been renamed. There's just two versions of scrappers. There are regular scrappers as well. At least there are in the in the board game we just played with Strike. That's just a new version, I guess. an interesting thing that is going to change a little bit or change up how combat works is uh, when you drink a potion there's a full animation for drinking it whereas in Zero Dawn you could just press down and Aloy would instantly heal now you actually have to watch an animation of her drinking it it looks like it, you stand still while she does that so you can't just abuse that to your advantage. Huh. 
You can dodge. Yeah, I was about to say there probably is a way to animation cancel it. Don't get hit. Sure. But yeah, there probably are uh, many ways you can animation cancel it. Alright, let's hand in the stuff and get some stew. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. <laughs> I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Or just drinking wow. the entire stew, goddamn. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Yo, Arex, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the old tribe, enjoy your emotes. Hey, we got a skill point. Got us to Milda. <laughs> I guess he got his revenge. He sure got his revenge by uh, making his food a little bit more salty. Hmm. I volley. That's interesting. That's right, two skill points, though. Concentration regain. Hmm. Let's go for this one. That might be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. Could be. Mm, see what else. What else could be up? That'll keep you going on your travels. Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Local stew. Oh, it's free. You get uh, various benefits from food. Good to know. Nice. That'll come in handy. Um. So I feel like now I guess we are heading towards Aaron. There's another tower here on the way, I guess. Talk to the pitmaster. Wait, isn't he the pitmaster? Yo, right for you. Thank you for the 100 bits and you. also the 8 month free sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the pit masters. This guy over here. Oh, yeah, let's try that melee combat thing. But yeah, one way to stand up for yourself as a chef is just make your the food a bit more salty, I guess. There you are. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this guy. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Oderg. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? 
And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakhta are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> sure. I might be. That's what I like to hear. And Mehems, thanks for the 100 bits as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. The melee pit. Melee pits uh, test your close quarter fighting skills against other human uh, opponents. Complete all challenges against other uh, fighters to ultimately face the pit master. The pit also allows you to practice your melee skills in focused tutorials or an open-ended training session. See. Fire attacks, heavy attacks. Power attacks. Oh yeah, I should charge up my spear more. I keep forgetting I can do that. And Rekfia, thanks for the 300 bits. And uh, also, thanks for gifting us up to Obelixo. Obelixo, enjoy the emotes and welcome to the chat. I feel like we should just head into um, Challengers. Personator Blast. Are you ready? Sure. Hey! I thought you'd left by now! <gasps> Next round's on me! You think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast the armor off. Yeah. Try again. Yeah, I need to use more of the heavy attacks again. Perform melee combos and power attacks energize your spear faster. Gotcha. doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. Oh, I gotta hit him as well with the... That's 
once I failed again. That spirit can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Hmm. It's gonna take a while to learn how to master these. But fair enough. So I guess we can do the other one shit. Because we need to learn other skills, I guess. But fair enough. Whenever we get around to doing a, I guess, Spioni run, Maybe ought to slow down. <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot more interesting, I guess. Alright, let's uh, head to Aaron's last known location, I guess. Whoa. Venom. Is there no snake around? Just press the bikes. Oh, I guess they have fought them with, with arrows, perhaps. Uh, what are they called? Acid arrows? Let's see if we're gonna find out. Is that a tripwire? Tripwire? I see. The whole area's blue. Where are you off to? Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers! That's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the tripwire! Uh Come on. I was expecting him to get stunned, but no. Spear is so powerful. Yeah, damn. Oh, he's Thank coming down. Forge, <laughs> what I needed to go up to. Tripwire's handy, but Sheen Hunt's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Took down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. I've been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Olvind. Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no, he didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. 
This old one guy gets worse and worse the more we hear about him. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. They just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a Tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So I, I guess we got hunting grounds as well. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Now we got a Tripcaster as well. Could come in handy. I can grab this from my stash later. Did he hide anything up here? Loot. Can always use some loot, I guess. Oh. Objective here again. Search for Iron's tracks. Oh, uh, probably use my focus. Tracks. Maybe Aaron's and the vanguards. Did I get this? Well, oh, I guess we're following the tracks. Glad they got overrun here. It sounds like someone's putting up a There he is. Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forced for. No ledgers to fill. Huh. No boring mid-afternoon patrols. Just a hammer. Just a fight. Aloy? Errand. Be alert, man. That's got a lot more peace. That's for sure. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. I should be down there. I knew that trap was useful. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Oh. Oh, that's not blaze, it's acid. Not hit. 
Never mind. At least these guys are. Uh... Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> he had his ass up in the air there. <laughs> Jesus. little guy here. Let me just get some loot. loot. These uh, poop buns here. Oh, there was a trap over here. I didn't even notice. Ah. I didn't even see the traps. Don't notice that. Are you okay? Ah. <laughs> Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Who needs ribs? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire, what we did, it didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? Well, well that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. <sighs> Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. Don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Oh. Damn. Uh, someone who has enough time for this. Someone who had no other choice. Someone who had a good reason. Why well, we had no other choice, I guess. <laughs> nice flex, Sago. Yeah, I feel like we have no other choice. Damn. But also, Aloy is just abandoning all her allies, I guess, but... I mean... She knew it was important to repair Gaia, so... I guess we have to choose this one. I understand why Aaron is hurt. Uh, I mean, both physically and, you know, feel-wise, I guess. Aaron, look... I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. 
And I know it's not easy now, but what I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Ugh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. I said we're good, Aloy. Oh, ha! Go on ahead. What are you standing around for then? What the hell was that thing? expression? Oh, that doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. Damn. I feel bad that we are not on good terms with Aaron, but... Oh well. Sure we'll make up for it later. So what is the goal now? To the brink. Go to the source of the explosions. Well, we'll have to worry about running out. He's just butt hurt, I guess. <laughs> Wrong chat, I was about to say. This is definitely not pretty FPS. More bursts. There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. Some high ground here. And it's full of bristle backs. One now. One less machine. Has brought friends. Left machine. Ah. Gotta aim it a little better. Yo, Hutch. Thanks for the 18 month freeze up. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Another one down. Place. Or, uh, a place. 
size of canisters. I guess we have to fight this another way. Looks like a fire burst back. Come on over here. We gotta talk. Sure do. What's that explosion about? I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Owen blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Owen holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least, not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvind the good news. Vladis, too. Then, maybe this embassy can finally happen. We still have this thing up here to clear out and assume there's the quarry thing. So let's go and clear that, but let's first explore this question mark since it's right here. Hey, listen enough. I kinda like how side quests are really playing into the main story so far. Like all the side quests we have done so far all had something to do with Olin. And just I guess building on that story. Even though Ulven is a main quest character. I guess I really like that dynamic. What is this supposed to be? A viewpoint. Can we climb it? Oh. I guess I need a tool. Maybe just scan it? An image from the old world. Oh. Looks like some kind of building in front of... Sheer cliffs. The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken, oh. my focus can fill in the rest. That's gonna be a challenge. I guess it's this house over here. Hmm. Nope. I should find another spot. You point was certainly a lot more interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen it all again. Somewhere. 
Kind of in the way. Uh, one was looted. And it's our turn. Oh, we're helping the guy. I didn't even notice he was underneath. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Vardis's delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape. Then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. <laughs> Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. So I guess this was just a random encounter. Ooh, smoke bomb. Alright, smoke bomb. Confuse nearby enemies and escape back to into stealth. Back into stealth. Cool. We saw those in the first gameplay trailer. It looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? Oh, I guess this bridge? No, wait. That's not a bridge. Huh. The data points sure are a lot more challenging now that you have to line them up and all that. Kind of like the idea of that. Like, this is definitely it's the house, isn't it? From the old world. It's like, like we have to get inside. fairly far away. Oh, bridge. New relic. But don't. Got it. Oh, there we go. Huh. Completing the image unlocked a data file. It looks like these Vista points were made by... <gasps> Miriam Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find Ooh. more of them out in the wild. Marion. So I guess I can play it and... In... Oh, there's only text to them? There's no readout story like last time? Fair enough. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> let's go. The Daunt. Congratulations on reaching the lodge at Sion National Park stop of a Vista Point tour. Brought to you by Miriam Technologies and a coalition of environmental reclamation. Ever since their establishment in 1872, national parks like this one have played a vital role in preserving our natural heritage. But many have been uh, threatened by climate change. That's why we create our uh, forester line of wilderness management machines from ecosystems and analysis to seed distribu distribution and fire management. Our creation are designed to restore wild landscapes to the way nature intended them to be. Comments. Uh, Romero. Five steps down, four more to go. Uh, Jali. I've come a long way for this, so happy to finally take the tour. Sammy. We should make all children come here. They spend so long in holograms now. They should come to these spaces to understand our world properly. Aimer, can you fix the sign by the drop off point? We got we got lost five times finding this. <laughs> cool. I guess. Are these are the signal engines. Nice. Let's check out the house. Surely there's a data point or something inside a. Uh... All one house here. Okay. Another hmm. movable what box. Do we have in here? Get up. Grab the thing, Aloy. There you go. Uh, A relic. How do I get to it? <laughs> Luggy charms, I guess. How do you get to it? 
by cheating the system. I'm not gonna use that box. Looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Key module? Maybe there's one in the ruin? Great. Then panel. Game wanted me to use that box, I'm not going to. Some data survived. Oh, there's a data point there. There's a code for the locked door in this data. Oh! Wait, was that this one? Yeah. <clears throat> Your red permit code. Text mail from Lot C on reception. Um, from Lot at C on reception to Thomas Brave. Subject, your red, your red permit code. Dear customer name, thank you for staying with us with the lodge at Siang. With your reservation, you have opted for a red permit parking pass to ensure the safety and security that our accommodations are re-owned uh, re for. The access gate uh, for guest vehicles is pr protected by a personal guarantee uh, generated code. For your, for your convenience, this code grants entry to both your room and your parking space. Red, your red permit code is uh, at sign, uh, hashtag, amber sign, exclamation point. Jesus, that's one hell of a code. <laughs> uh, please keep in mind that this code is confidential, so please refrain from sharing it with anyone during your stay. We look forward to we look forward to seeing you. Have a safe and pleasant journey. The lot at Sea and Crew. <clears throat> and then I guess this is a reply, or uh, an uh, an added on email here. Mister Brave, sorry for the inconvenience, but our parking system software hasn't worked properly for some time. To access the lot, use the code one seven o five. It's embarrassing to admit, but we are actually unable to change it. Thanks for your understanding. Ter Teresa Morton, manager. We still need to find a key module. Looks like uh, we gotta go out and do some pulling for that. We're stuck in here now. Uh, did I do something unintended? Hmm. A little bit of a pickle, but we'll get out of here. I'll find this in my stash later. Oh wait, I can. Oh, I'm not stuck. That should be useful. I forgot. We can. Oh, I forgot. I also need to keep holding R2. certainly have elaborated quite a lot on uh, fossils and stuff in this game. Quickly, wait, wasn't it on the outside? There was something I could pull, maybe? I think I might have to enter from above. Mm -hmm. right, let's cheat the system again here by using the environment to get up there instead of having to pull that crate around. Who wants to do that when you can be creative? Hmm. I haven't found a key module. Maybe I should take another look around. Huh? Huh? 
Need to get into that room, I believe. But how? Me with the crate. No back seating, Frosty. Unless I ask for it. This is probably not gonna work. As a speedrunner, this count as working. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the other side. Hooking onto that. Can't pull below. Oh. oh, wait, that's just a broken one. There's more of the ruin down here. Where to now? Wait, is that the focus? Oh, the focus is creating a light when you're in a dark place. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. I guess we end the last of us now. We have a light. It's a little annoying. It moves a bit too much with Aloy's head. So if she is moving her head, that I'm not controlling and moves away, I guess. Oh, here we go. That's a nice little touch. There. A little more light down here. But what was I supposed to do in here? Uh, well, I can't reach the ledge above now. But we can if we have a crate. <laughs> Down it goes. Is it because you don't have a PS5? <laughs> but where's the key module? Oh, what's this? Hotel room key. A key module. A key module, I guess. Even though it's a room key. Was there more stuff up here? Not. Uh. Guess I have to go down here to get out again. <laughs> Aggressive much. Well, then you're stuck watching me. Well, I apologize that you have been uh, given this fate. But, uh... Oh, well. Could be worse, I guess. <laughs> there are worse, le worse less plays out there than uh, my uh, one here. Okay, let's see if this key fits. And the hotel room key is still gonna work? After all these years? Um, looks like this needs a code too. But we got I the code. Think some of the data I picked up might help. Oh, I need to remember it? God damn. That was one, seven, oh, five. Got it. And then we got this lucky ball ornament. <laughs> what is this thing? Completed really good. Maybe I'll figure out what to do with it later. We got two skill points for that. Let's go. Get this from my stash when I need it. Nice. We have five skill. Holy. Love to see it. Valor Search Master. Activate your equip Valor Search 
by opening the weapon wheel L1 and tapping L1 for a unique and powerful special ability. We don't have that yet. What's this? I should check what the skills are on here. Bolt Master. Ooh. Stamina again. Recover weapon stamina faster. To use weapon technique aim melt. What's this we get in the middle here? Kind of want to learn some more warrior stuff. R1, R1, R2. To break armor. Go for that one. Energizer duration. Target remained energized longer. First strike an enemy with melee attacks to build up an energy on your spear. Then, when fully charged up, tap R2 to energize your target. Finally, ta switch to a bow and shoot the energy onto the target and deal a large amount of damage. Sure. What do we get in the middle here if I unlock LP? Power a special mode in your focus, gain greater chance to land critical hits and increase increase critical damage. Ooh. Well, don't mind if I do. Critical down strike deals more damage, sure. Nice. Valor Search, you have unlocked your first Valor Search. Cool. Uh, deal more damage with light and heavy attacks. Yeah, definitely. We're using the Spear a lot, so let's get it. Deal more damage with Resonant Blast, yes. We used a lot of skill points on that right there, but who doesn't like some good... Uh, some good old fashioned. Um, what's that? You have a crit Valor Surge. Valor Surges are extremely powerful, rare abilities that can instantly turn the tide of a fight. Build up your Valor Surge bar and unleash this powerful ultimate power. Sorry. Uh, earn Valor through technical, tactical gameplay. And when a segment of the Valor Surge bar is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening the weapon wheel, L1, and tapping R1. Unlock additional levels of a Valor Search in the skill tree to add segments to the Valor Search bar and gain extra effects. Gotcha. Enduring. What was this? Uh, somewhere in the Forbidden West is a legendary Tanagma. Oh! Yeah, that's just uh, doing all the fights, I guess. Those are the Bristol Banks to the Brink is the main quest we're currently on. Uh, inventory. We have some coils. Can we use those? I assume we have to go to a workbench for that. Smoke bombs, ammo. Special gear. Wonder what this is. Melee pit. Yeah. Relic ruins to dawn. Collectible scatter. Notebook. Machine catalog. I need to scan more machines. I've gotta keep that in mind. I only scanned like three. Wait. Oh. Did, oh, this was what you were talking about earlier. The. The character thingies. Oh, you told me that I should read these. I guess we'll uh, go through them now. Yeah, Val doesn't have a beard here. Horrendous. Val without a beard is officially cursed now, by the way. I know Aloy doesn't like the beard, but Val does look better with the beard. Can we agree on that? Actually, I'm gonna do a poll. We are doing a poll. Because Aloy didn't like the beard, but maybe you guys do. I'll give you guys 10 minutes. So if you're watching right now, this should be a poll above chat. Does he look better with a beard? Yes or no? 
And if you don't see the poll, it should appear on top of the chat. Or sorry, if you don't see it, uh, update your window or refresh the app you're watching on. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, read these. Aloy is wrong. Indeed, Aloy is definitely wrong when it comes to the beard. She's normally a smart girl, but not when it comes to that. <laughs> you know, I don't personally like to have a beard myself, but I fully admit when somebody looks better with one. <clears throat> All right, Val, Nora warrior. Val is a warrior from the rustic Nora tribe. His mother, Sona, is the tribe's war chief, known for her iron will and stern disposition. She trained him to become a skilled... Oh, you have to click on that to get all the text. Uh, so there's a lot more to them. Uh, where did we drop up? Uh, she trained him to become a skilled hunter, with his little sister Vala following in their, in their footsteps. When the militian called known as the Eclipse murdered a number of Noir youth, including, ba uh, including Vala, Val teamed up with Aloy to extract exact vengeance. Since then, the two have shared a bond fueled by mutual respect and common values. They fought side by side in a number of engagements, uh, culminating in the Battle of Their Light, in which the Eclipse were finally vanquished along with their buried shadow, the rogue AI known as Hades. When Aloy vanished after the battle, Val tracked, uh, tracked her into the wilderness. Although they once shunned her as an outcast, his tribe now believes that she is the anointed, destined to carry out the will of all mother, their goddess, as such, he feels a, sp a spiritual responsibility to assist her that goes beyond mere friendship. Nice. I guess Sobek here. I wonder why it's the hologram version of Sobek, since we had that first cutscene in the game where she wasn't a hologram. But fair enough, I guess. <clears throat> oh, this is a long one. Jesus. Well, we're in for a long read here. <laughs> All right. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Biography. Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, one of the greatest mind of the 21st century, was the creator and head of Project Zero Dawn, a system that gave life a chance for the future in the face of annihilation. Born on March 11th, 2020, which means her birthday is coming up, everyone. Mark your calendars. And raised outside Carson City, she enrolled at Stafford University at age 13, earning a BS in <laughs> BS <lol. laughs> in experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at uh, Carnegie Mellon, uh, Mellon University in 2040 and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year, rising quickly to chief assistant at the age of 22. So she did a lot before she was 22. And uh, yeah, what have we accomplished in that time? Not not much, I guess. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> the game the game makes you feel, doesn't it? <laughs> At fast, she played a pivotal role in designing green robotics for the environmental cleanup and uh, detoxification efforts of the clawback decade. But in 2048, she suddenly resigned, protesting the company's pivot towards automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Mirian Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive uh, life robotics. Mirian, uh, Mirian became one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots and won numerous prestigious awards. On October 31st, 2064, Elizabeth secretly met with Ted Farrow, head of FAS, and he revealed that the swarm of self-replicating war machines that consumed biomass for fuel had stopped responding to commands. Within days, she determined that life on Earth would be annihilated, annihilated by the swarm and presented her plan for Project Zero Dawn to the US Joint Chief of Staff, the only hope in the face of extinction. At its core, Zero Dawn would be a terraforming system designed to return life to a barren earth long uh, sorry, uh, designed to return life to a barren earth long after humans had gone extinct. This system would be gov uh, governed by Gaia, the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. But intelligence was not enough. Elizabeth nurtured Gaia's emotional response, ensuring that the AI would care for the for the world it would watch over. Uh, re 
reluctantly at Ted Farrow's uh, insistence. She also installed the master override uh, means to uh, reassert control over Gaia or her subordinate functions. <clears throat> in, in order to buy Zero Dawn time against the encroaching machine swarm, the chairman of the Joint Chief uh, initiated Operation Enduring Victory, a military campaign that drafted millions of de decommissioned armed forces and civilians to the front lines. The campaign was built upon a lie uh, publicly, Zero Dawn was a super weapon program that would defeat the swarm before it was too late. So as millions perished fighting the war machines unaware of projects of the project's true goal, Elizabeth left her team in a desperate race against time. They almost didn't make it. In January 2066, the Pharaoh Plague broke through the last line of defense as Proctor's staff relocated to Elysium and sealed uh, the sealed bunker where they would live out their lives, Elizabeth and the other project leads uh, chose to lock themselves inside the Gaia Prime facility in order to complete their work. But as Gaia Prime closed its doors, a tiny but uh, significant gap prevented the facility from completely sealing. Uh, detection by the Pharaoh war machines would mean failure and extinction. And so, as the swarm closed in, Elizabeth sacrificed herself to, s to fix the seal from outside the facility. Gaia was safe. In her final moments, Eliz Elizabeth returned to a childhood home, holding the pendant given to her by her mother. Elizabeth's, Sorry. Elizabeth's dedication and sacrifice have left, left a lasting impact on the world. Nearly a thousand years later, with Gaia was forced to self-destruct in order to prevent second a second apocalypse, her last act was to order the creation of a clone of Elizabeth in the hopes that one day this rein, uh, reinstitation, rein, reinstantiation sorry, of her creator would find a way to permanently stop the destruction and heal the world. That clone is the hero of our story, Aloy. So a good recap of uh, Sobek. <clears throat> Let's just go through all of them now. I'm sure we'll get a lot more. I mean, there's a lot of question marks, so we'll definitely get a lot more. Looks like most people like the beard and the vote, by the way. Good job, guys. <laughs> Only six people don't like the beard. Gaia, artificial intelligence. Gaia was the controlling intelligence of the Zero Dawn terraforming system. Fully sentient and designed to care for and nurture life on a restored future Earth. Mother Nature as an AI. <clears throat> In 2064, when it became apparent that the glitch in the swarm of self-replicating feral war machines would exterminate all life on Earth, a re-owned uh, technologist uh, Elizabeth Sobeck proposed a radical solution since there was no other way to stop the swarm from consuming the biosphere and wiping out humanity. She would develop a seed that would restore the life uh, life in the distant future, Zero Dawn. Given ultimate funds, funds by Pharaoh Automated Solution and the US government, Sobek and a band of engineers, scientists completed this goal in 16 months. Gaia was the heart of a system programmed with a genuine emotional response prompting her to care about life itself. She would coordinate the efforts of nine different subordinate functions responsible for deactivating the war machines, purifying the seas, skies, restoring plants and animal life, and spawning a new generation of human beings. <clears throat> for the most part, the system worked as planned. Over the course of a thousand years, the war machines were shut down and the biosphere has, uh, was regrown. Plants, animals, and humans were brought back into the world. Much of this was accomplished through fully automated animal-like terraforming machines built from design, designs inspired by creatures from the past. But two pivotal things went wrong trying to avoid blame. For the robot plague, he... Wait. Did I miss something? Oh, sorry. No, I didn't. Uh, I just thought I skipped over something. My bad there. But two p uh, pivotal things went wrong. Trying to avoid the blame for the robot plague, he in inadvertently created Ted Farrow perched Apollo, 
the subordinate function responsible for educating new generations of human beings. As a result, people birthed by the system were released into the wilds without any knowledge of huma humanity's history and quickly fragmented into pr primitive, primitive tribes. <clears throat> then approximately 20 years ago, a mysterious signal of unknown origin infected Hades. The subordinate function responsible responsible for rebooting the system in the event of a non-viable biosphere. Suddenly endowed with a um, malevolent con consciousness, Hades seized control of the terraforming system, attempting to trigger another extinction. Gaia destroyed herself to prevent this from happening, but not, for, not before Hades and the other subordinate functions fled, embedding themselves in, and themselves in ancient computer systems throughout the land. Gaia's destruction wrecked havoc on the world, uh, world terraforming machines. Once docile became hostile to humans and pl plight called the derangement by tribes across the land. Even worse, in a misguided effort to reduce human pred predation on the terraforming system, the Hephaestus subordinate function began building deadly combat machines to attack tribal hunters. And worst of all, Hades began a campaign to recruit human followers to reactivate the ancient fire war machines, still trying to vibe out all up, out, still trying to vibe out life on Earth. But Gaia knew her destruction would put Earth in peril, so right before she perished, she gave a final order: the birth of a clone of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. She hoped that one day uh, this clone would defeat Hades and help rebuild the fractured terraforming system. Raised as an outcast of the rustic Nora tribe, the clone grew to grew, grew up to become Aloy, the hero of a story. Branding together with tribal allies, she defeated Hades and its followers at the Battle of the Allied in Meridian. Even so, Aloy's mission is only half finished. Without controlling intelligence, the terraforming system will continue to falter, resulting in an eventual destruction of the biosphere. To prevent this from happening, Aloy must find a backup copy of Gaia somewhere among the ruins of the ancient world. I feel like I'm getting really good at reading out loud. <laughs> Hopefully you, <coughs> you guys can uh, tell. So yeah, I guess these are just a lot of recap on what has happened to these characters in the first game. But it's kind of cool to read them, I guess. <clears throat> Travis Tate, Hades Alpha A gifted programmer with disrupted personality, master hacker Travis Tate was once one of the most wanted criminals on the planet. Considered a critical threat by government agencies and multinational corporates alike, corporations alike. <clears throat> Despite his record, he was chosen by Elizabeth Sobek as an Alpha project lead for the Hades subordinate function of Zero Dawn. Who better than the world's greatest hacker to develop software capable of taking over and rebooting Gaia's, Gaia, the most sophisticated AI ever created. In addition to his work with Hades, Tate was also head of Zero Dawn's uh, digital security. Though he succeeded at both tasks, he and the other alphas were ultimately murdered by, t by Ted Farrow as part of the effort to uh, conceal his culpability for the machine plate that ended the world. Hades, subordinate function. Biography. Hades is the zero dawn subordinate function responsible responsible for emergency re, uh, reboots intended to purge any emerging biosphere that became non-viable. During the construction of zero dawn in 2065 and 2066, Hades software was developed by Alpha Project Lead Travis Tate. In an ideal world, Hades would never have activated. It was built to take over Gaia and restart the system only in the event that a partially reconstituted biosphere became un uh, unstable. Approximately 20 years ago, Hades was infected by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. This signal gave him a malicious uh, consciousness prompting it to take over Gaia in an attempt to extinguish all life on Earth. Gaia destroyed herself to prevent this from happening, but not before Hades and all the other subordinate functions escaped to ancient computer systems throughout the land. Hades landed in its pos <coughs> sorry. Hades landed in a 
processing orb of an ancient and massive Horus class Pharaoh war machine. There it was discovered by silence, and the two struck a bargain. Hades would provide technical and historical knowledge, while silence would provide human followers to Hades' uh, bidding. This arrangement led to the formation of the eclipse and the co sorry, this arrangement led to the formation of the eclipse, a cult of the shadow card of fanatics bent on re reconquering their holy city of Meridian. But both silence and the eclipse were duped. Hades' ultimate goal was to use the eclipse to attack Meridian so it could reach the spire, a zero dawn communication array. There it would transmit a signal, transmit a signal that would activate dormant pharaoh war machines around the world, thus triggering another extinction. Aloy, uh, sorry, Aloy and her allies uh, thwarted these machinations me 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 at the Battle of the Elight, where she purged ha Hades with a special lance given to her by the repentant silence. So Hades story there. Oh boy, it's at Pharaoh time. Ted Farrow, fast, uh, sorry, Ted Farrow, fast CEO, a world-class businessman and self-promoting prom promoting egomaniac, Ted Farrow was once feted by the media as the man who saved the world. He was also the one who ended it. After dropping out of college in the 2030s, Farrow founded Farrow Automated Solution, an engineering company that became popular thanks to its successful line of personal robotic servitors. But the company re really hit its stride when it hired Elizabeth Sopic, who designed a revolutionary line of green robots that would play an instrumental role in reversing the damage caused by climate change. <clears throat> the environmental recovery that ensued, ensued in the 2040s became known as the callback, and Farrow did everything he could to take credit for it. More success followed, including the release of a powerful personal AI device called the Focus. Farrow also expanded the company's operations to include a military brand eventually dominating the sector. Disgusted with this pivot, Sobek left the firm. <clears throat> In 2064, a glitch uh, occurred in the swarm of fast chariot uh, war machines, re rendering them immune to human control. Designed to self-replicate and consume biomass for energy, these machines now saw all life on Earth as a viable fuel source. Global extinction became inevitable. Project Zero Dawn provided a solution, a bite, a grim one. But Ted's guilt over the robotic plague he created caused him to spiral into madness disguised as a, a magnanimous spiritual conversion. He became convinced or con sorry. He became convinced humanity would be better off without knowledge of the past and especially his role in it. Using a secret backdoor to Zero Dawn system called Omega Clearance, he purged Apollo, the subordinate functions responsible for it, uh, educating future generations. He also murdered the Alpha Project leads who uh, had contributed to Zero Dawn's construction. Along with a few chosen companions, he sealed himself within a secret bunker called Thebes allowing him to live out the rest of his life in comfort as the world outside ceased to be. Ooh, Rust. So there's a Rust model in uh, this game. But he doesn't have his Death Seeker. He looks a little weird, because, yeah, he doesn't have his Death Seeker or face paint. I was about to say he looked a little off because of that. Normally he has the Death Singer, uh, Death Seeker face paint. <clears throat> Rust, Nora Outcast. For Aloy, an outcast of the Nora tribe from birth, growing up in the machine-dominated wilderness was a lonely, solitary existence. Her only companion was the stern and impassive uh, recluse who fostered her, Rust. An outcast himself, he raised her, raised her away from the tribe, as ceaselessly training her to hunt and fight. From him, she learned to survive and physical 
any physical hardship uh, to scorn comforts as weak weakness. But what she most wanted to know, the answer to the riddles of her birth, he could not teach her. On the eve of the proving the tribe, the tribes write a passage that offered Aloy a chance to join their ranks and finally obtain the answers she sought. Rust resolved to lead the Nora sacred light. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Rust resolved to leave the Nora sacred land for good. His greatest wish was for Aloy to embrace her new life within the tribe, a life that he could never be part of. Aloy could never uh, reconcile with uh, this notion. His companionship, distant and tactile as it was, was the only source of warmth she ever had no she ever had known. Uh, and to lose him was an akin to abominant. But he didn't he didn't go far. When a mysterious band of outsiders attacked, approving killing the other contestants, he intervened to save Aloy's life at the cost of his own. It was only through his sacrifice that Aloy survived the unraveled the mysterious uh sorry, let me start that over. It was only through his sacrifice that Aloy survived to unravel the mis mysteries of the ancient world and her connection to it. <clears throat> I feel like they should have re included Rasta's backstory in that biography there, to be fair. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that should have been included. Because if somebody played it, plays this game without having played the first, I feel like it would be nice to add that. <clears throat> Might disappear randomly, no problem, sir. Yeah, the storm is supposed to hit Denmark at 9 p.m. tonight, where I live at least, so maybe I'll uh, lose power as well, because there is a storm coming. <clears throat> Silence. Wandering Sage. Little is truly known about Silence. A wandering scholar, sage, and warrior. Though he is rumored to have come of age among the northern Benuk tribe, his past is a series of whispers, misdirections, and enigmas, all of which he encourage, uh, encourages uh, as long as he can stay unseen in the shadows. He can freely pursue his obsession, learning everything he can about the origins of man and machine. Silence was the first person to find a working focus. With it, he discovered Hades, a rogue AI, and together they forged a bargain. It would give him knowledge, in return he would give it followers. This agreement led to the formation of the Eclipse, Kadja rebels who believed Hades would help them retake the holy city of Meridian. Later, he <coughs> sorry. Later, uh, Hades reneged on, on the deal and tried to have Silence killed. Not long after, Silence learned that a rogue AI had ordered Aloy's death as well. Intrigued as to why Hades would want to kill this Nora outcast, Silence tapped into her focus and learned, learned of her connection to the ancient world. Knowing she was the key to uncover, uncovering the deep secrets of the past, he joined forces with her, adding her as a, a, aiding her as she learned the truth about her origins. Seeking to make amends for his role in Hades' rise, he gave Aloy the land she used to purge Hades or purge the AI during the Battle of the Alight. But after that, he disappeared, no longer answering when she tried to contact him with her focus. And of course, we now know the spear was a bit of a rouge. <clears throat> Blameless Marad, Kaja Spymaster. As spy master, <laughs> said that completely wrong. As spy master of the, the Kaja Sundom, Marat trades in secrets and information. During the tyrannical reign of Mad, Mad Sun King, of the Mad Sun King, he fed information to the exiled prince Avad in an effort to dispose the hated Enigma. After Avad joined the, with the Osram Freebooters to accomplish his goal of becoming the 14th Sun King. Marat stayed on, on to advise him. A loyal suspect, he strives to ensure peace and safety for the Sundom, often crossing paths with Aloy to do so. <clears throat> so 
Sun King Avad, Kadja Sun King, and Massive Simp. Sun King Avad, the 14th monarch of the Kadja tribe, and paradoxically, for such a gentle soul, the only one ascend to the throne through uh, re regicide. His father, Durand, the so-called Mad Sun King, came to the throne shortly before the derangement, a sudden change in which the machines of the world went from docile to hostile often attacking humans instead of fleeing from them. This shift in was caused when Gaia destroyed herself to prevent Hades from extinguishing life on Earth. But the tribes of the world had no way of knowing that. Instead, they saw the change as a mystical and super or supernatural. <clears throat> uh, Kifikon, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the L-Tribe. Enjoy emotes. Appreciate the support. means a lot. Uh, I don't know, PV. <clears throat> Based on advice, advice of the treacherous and opportunistic uh, priest Jiran, became convinced that the, on the only way to end the derangement was by appeasing the sun god through human sacrifice. Accordingly, he, la he launched a war against neighboring tribes, the goal of which was to take captives to be hauled back to Meridian as slaves and offerings. This conflict became known as the Red Raids. Avad could not watch these atrocities and stand idle. At first, he tried to work from within the palace, pursuing his father to relent. When that failed, he banded together with Osiram freebooters and Kaja dissidents to end Jiran's evil reign through force of arms. Unfortunately, uh, Jiran's demise did not end the crisis of the tribes. Or the, of the tribe. Remnants of his regime fled to the western citadel of Sunfall, forming the insurgency called the Shadow Kaja. Even worse, dedicated fanatics from this group joined a splintering cell known as the Eclipse. Followers of Hades bent on, it, on taking back Meridian with an army of ancient war machines. It was only with Aloy's help that Abad and his allies finally defeated these uh, these threats at the Battle of the Allied. Uh, despite taking over the kingdom that was ravaged by tyranny, threatened by rebellion, and uh, the the pit the by other tribes, with the help of heroes like Aloy, Aaron, Vanasha, and Blameless from Marat, Avad has been able to protect and empower his people. Since the Battle of the Light, he's been working hard to heal the schisms within the tribe and restore positive relation with the other tribes. How far are we into the story? Oh, still fairly early on. Um, we've just met up with Aaron, if you know how fine that is. Because <clears throat> uh, we've just been doing a lot of other stuff as well. And also going through all this text and lore. Take some time, I guess. <laughs> Vanasha, a Kaja spy. A Kaja spy, Vanasha met Aloy while she was working undercover behind enemy lines in Sunfall. The, the Shadow Kaja capital, thanks to Aloy's assistant, Vanasha was able to return the host hostage Doraga Queen Nasadi and her son Prince Edaman to safety of Meridian. Since then, she has been in charge of protecting them both, sometimes as a personal bodyguard and occasionally as Edaman's nanny. <clears throat> Not much about her, I guess. Ufid, Kaja General. Once a loyal captain of the descendant Shadow Kaja, Ufid soon discovered and exposed the corruption of its ruling priest and general. In return, they put a price on his head. With help from Aloy, he was able to defeat his would-be assassins and escape to Meridian, which he later defended during the Battle of the Light. He now serves the Sun King Abad as a senior military advisor. <coughs> God, all this reading. <laughs> reading out loud is not easy. I'm doing my best, <laughs> and I hope you guys appreciate it. Arend, Osiram Vanguard. 
A brave and capable fighter, Aaron hails from the resourceful and uh, ale-loving Othram tribe. Along with his sister Ursa, he played an instrumental role in the disposing the sun, the mad sun king of the Cardia tribe, effectively ending a series of violent insurrect, incursions and human sacrifice known to all as the Red Raids. As part of a new and benevolent sun king, personal vanguard, uh, Aaron enlisted as enlisted Aloy's help to bring the Osiram terrorist uh, Derbal to justice for murdering his beloved sister. In doing so, they thwarted Derbal's plot to bomb Meridian, the Cardia capital. Later, Aaron returned the favor by fighting at Aloy's side against Hades at the Battle of the Allied. Aaron's gratitude to Aloy has, in, has involved uh, into a heartfelt friendship paired with a personal debt that can never truly be repaid. And last one. Petra, Osiram Tinker. Aloy first encountered Petra at the settlement of Freeheap, where the Tinker sought to build a life of her a life for herself outside the hard heated rules of misogynistic customs of the Osiram homeland. It was thanks to Canon's Thanks to cannons of Petra's making, that Aloy and her allies were able to defend Kaja capital at the Battle of the Allied. Always one to seek out new challenges, Petra later moved to uh, Changescape, a frontier settlement in the dawn near the infamous Forbidden West. There we have it. <laughs> but that as all the biographies. Hopefully you guys uh, appreciated that and Maybe some of you got a little reminder of uh, some of you got a little reminder of uh, what's it called of uh, some of the story for these characters. All right, let's continue over here and uh, search west of the quarry for bristlebacks. Gonna kill a lot of bristlebacks apparently. You could just standing here. Oh, that was Belna. Yeah, we talked to her after we cleared these bell bags, I guess. What is up here? Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Things like this should be something interesting up here. Red Q Quarry. Looks like we got another climb to do here. And let me guess, there's gonna be another TV setter. Once we get to the top here. I thought I saw a symbol for the launcher. Like we have another data point, yeah. On green shine, scroll, academic notes written in the priest Carter glyphs. My research regarding the crystals has been more successful than anticipated. I have made significant progress in the quest to learn what green shine, green shine is and thus where it can be found. Through the process of elimination, I can now state that green shine is not formed within rock, but it's but on its surface. The quarry and nearby mine have given me an amp ample evidence to support this conclusion. The no notion that green shine is formed through the application of intense pressure or uh, uh, temperature can therefore be discarded. Additionally, I have gathered su sufficient proof to denounce the religious idiocy that greenshine is a gift of the sun and somehow springs into existence via green twilight flares. Rather, entire clusters of greenshine can be found in locals, uh, locales the sun cannot reach, such as underground caverns. It is therefore safe to assume 
that sunlight is no factor in its formation. There does appear to be a correlation between green shine's deposit and machine, re uh, res re machine presence, however. The hypothesis that the crystals is formed as a side effect of canister leakage seems even more alluring. The local Osram stone workers seem to agree. They uh, believe green shine to be a hardened state of place, a substance that must be that must emit has similar visual properties. Next step, devise an experiment whereby I can I attempt to transform blaze into green shine through a uh, artificial means. Note to self, acquire fireproof armor before testing begins. Yeah, so green shine I guess is like a uh, blue gleam by the sounds of it. <clears throat> At least that's I guess what he's trying to prove. Oh, so it was just the stash up here. Fair enough. I guess we're heading down again then. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Yeah, I guess it's like blue glint, but for blaze and still machine fluid. Even though I guess blaze is also technically a machine fluid. The bristleback by the falls. Better check it out. It looks like it died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Up here. An old mine. A mine, I guess. And a lot of broken trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. Mm. Could lead out of the daunt, or could it lead into a cauldron? Split crack. Okay, let's see where this leads. Yo, uh, Chai Dark Heaven, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to Elf Tribe, enjoy emotes. Thank you so much for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. That's medicine, too. I thought there was a hole here. I guess we are just gonna. The old cart tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way. Hey, Mayskin. Okay, there's a cauldron. I have my feeling is my they build a mine it. and they duck so far and they hit a cauldron. Dark Elks, it's uh, the Barrel LT from your YouTubes. Nice. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate it. Glad you're checking that out. <laughs> Since when is Blue Gleam medicine? It's not Blue Gleam, it's uh, mushrooms. Just like, you know, mushrooms were also medicine There's in the first game. Oh. From deeper in the mine. Got uh, at least one bristleback. Bristlebacks? Bristle so they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped. I'm gonna have to take them out before I can look around. I can get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find one. Looks like there's a lot of traps you could use to take them out. Oh, 
Oh, he's dead. I guess I've just lost track of him. Oh, what a shot. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, we're building up Valor okay. as we kill machines. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Oh yeah, and we got these plants again, or mushrooms to create. Dull variants. Investigate the smoking tunnels. It's like vegan blue gleam. Uh, sure. <coughs> it seems toxic. There's a lot of smoke. It looks like mine runs pretty far back. But there's a lot of blaze down there. Holy. Why do I not have a fire right now to just... Just to see the explosion. <laughs> well, maybe I'm just a massive pyromaniac. <laughs> dead end. Could be. Bristlebacks must have collapsed these tracks too. There's enough blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. Oh. That's addressed to Olvind. <laughs> Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Olvind must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Hmm. Olvind, Olvind, Olvind. Why does everything lead back to Olvind? He's like the tip bearer of the Osram right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Scroll. A charcoal smudged record, record written in rough hand. <clears throat> Delivered 24 barrels of blaze, 4 shovels, 9 hammers, uh, 1 kick of spitfire. Delivered in full as spit <clears throat> sworn by Wrecker uh, Tradesman. Getting harder to deliver your shipments quite quietly, old wound. Ran into a Kaja patrol and wasted an hour heading to the northern mine just to throw them off the scent. Javad, uh, Javad may be a uh, tough, but until you get that uh, concession signed, he can still shut down my trade. So if you want to keep blasting away at uh, this scorched out mine, I'm happy to oblige. But my fees have just gone up. Ragra. Or Ragurk. I try how you say it. I guess we're done here. So, yeah. Could head uh, to some of these question marks now on the way out. So, Olvind was secretly blasting in the mine, trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Capitalism, Aloy. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? Wait, what? Right, there must be something more in this cave. Actually, let's not leave late. I'm leaving too early here. Look at the map here. Is there really no other way to go? Where would they have come from? This is where the blaze was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe there isn't more here. But where did the blaze crystal bikes then come from? Like further down this way? But wasn't that a dead end? Looks like we can drop down, I guess. Let's just make sure there's not something blatant I'm missing in here. This is where they blew, but... Hmm. I guess maybe we'll figure out where... Where the bristlebacks came from when we return? Why do I have a feeling... Oh, one intentionally put the bristlebacks here? Some Somehow? Hmm. 
Because, uh, you know, he clearly benefits from them being there. Because then he can blame the Kaja for it. So what if it's him that put them here? The plot thickens. <laughs> He be the new Dervil. <laughs> He's certainly getting up there, I guess. He needs to be shot. I mean, at this point, given how much more we have learned about him... Yeah. Nobody's gonna drop a trap on me. Looks like it's below me, though, something. But, uh, let's go to the other question mark here first. Some sort of combat area? There's something built in here. Oh, hello. Please, leave us alone. We have nothing for you. As surely as the sun sets in the west, our prayers will be answered. Catching by the clothes, these are Kaja referees. Or uh, refugees, sorry. Not referees. Looks like we can't enter here yet. This is part of uh, another side quest or main quest I'm not allowed to do yet. Or maybe we had well, to. Where these people are, I guess they want to be left alone. Fair. Maybe we have to go from underneath. Is there some water we can just swan dive into? I'm probably gonna regret this, but screw it. Ah, nailed it. I knew it was gonna work. Like we got another dive here. Squeeze. Oh, you have to press a button to squeeze. place with cannon you don't have the required improvement hmm. fair enough I assume we need that uh, swim device we have seen in trailers to do these cave thingies I guess we can't do any of the question marks here yet so uh, can we just fast roll back let's just fast roll back My god, those loading screens are quick. Yeah, Holy that'll shit. keep me awake. You guys see that? I mean, if I'd press X faster, that holy. That's a quick loading screen. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Bodies to bury. Yeah damn. The power of PS5. <laughs> I could like have pressed X immediately there. And there wouldn't have been a loading screen. Pretty much. Uh I don't know why. Yeah, let's talk to Olwyn first. Because that was part of that. Oh, the side quest here, I guess. Do 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 do. Sub Olwen, time to meet your maker. Look at him just sitting there. Like, they're really trying to make us not like this guy. Still here, I see. Oh, uh, blow the whistle. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. <laughs> Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done <laughs> it again. What? The Bristlebacks are defeated! 
you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Great. Yay. <laughs> Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? <laughs> yeah. I guess I do. Get wrecked. <laughs> Merchants are now available. Hey, we can buy good stuff now. Woo! Well, the chain scrapes back it. to work. It's our time again. Be open to trade. You're back? Well, that's just great. I have other places to be. <laughs> By all means, don't let me stop you. Yeah, let's check out these merchants. Give me all their good stuff. What is he carrying? That's like a, that's like a, what's it called? Warthog tied. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Damn. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Warrior bow. Looks like a chap chap bow. Fire hunter bow. Ooh. Tools, resource tools, that's true. You can get a fire bow. What are we missing here? Chargers circulator. We'll get that when we get some chargers. Let's uh, equip this. Warrior bow. Compulsory used by counter military. This fast firing bow is best suited for close range encounters. Yeah. Doesn't really look that appealing, to be honest. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. I like that merchant is a little bit of a dick. But I will. Let's check out the outfits. Also, Ram Explorer. Oh, that's a good looking outfit. But uh, what does it do? Hmm. Looks like it's good against poison. It actually looks really dope, this outfit. I really like the look of it. Might be the best looking Asaram outfit that we have seen so far in both games. What's the other one? Nora Huntress. Ah, the default outfit <laughs> in the first game. Is this the one made by uh, Tep? I guess not. The iconic outfit, notable former outcast tailor made. Or stealthing hunting. Good against freeze. I think we'll just stick with what we have for now. I'm sure we'll find something better at Merchants later on. What was that black screen out of nowhere? That was not my capture card, that was just random black screen. Oh, wait, what's this? Talk to uh, the Wadis. Oh, yeah, talk to Wadis. Oh, wait, no, that's main quest, isn't it? Yeah, let's report back to uh, to Javad first, and he was in the bar. How goes it, Hammerhead? Was another merchant in town? Where? Oh, the brewery guy. Yeah. Ignoring the place. Savior, what news do you bring? Picked up the bristleback trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think. That Olvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, 
We need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. Hmm. I need to go. Of course. I guess this quest is not over yet. Oh, what? Maybe not. Fair enough. But yeah, so I guess he did blast into something. I need to have further west. Another reason to get the embassy going. Oh yeah, we're back to the good music now again in here. You just sit here and listen to this Bob all day. All right, let's start to the brew guy up here, I guess. Remedies to trade. I guess this is just posing. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Next time, try my brew. So oh, far, this is my favorite soundtrack in the game. The one playing in here. HD and filling. Guaranteed. And so I guess talk to Wadis is the next thing to do. Have been selling off junk? Actually, no. Uh, let's talk to Mr. Wadis. What about these nuts? <laughs> okay, sorry. Terrible joke. I apologize. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But... but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. <laughs> I guess we completed this main quest. <laughs> Embassy! Woo! Well, trophy! Now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. Points. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. Oh, we've got more side quests now as well. God damn! Overrun by side quest. Not that I'm complaining, they're pretty fun. Cause there's so much to them now. Embassy, override a charger. Yes. Guess we're gonna get mounts now. Do we get a new character by him? No. Not yet. Um. I should uh, check a workbench and see if I can use these coils. Workbench is right below me, I believe. Power and protection. Uh, here we go. This is. Are we done with the tutorial yet? I'm pretty sure we finished that when we returned to Meridian, but like yesterday. <laughs> Weapon upgrades. Um, can get that. Can upgrade the sling fully. Uh, sure. Actually, yeah, sure. Level three. Empty coil slot. Nice. Oh, so level three gives you a coil slot. Ooh, I guess we really need level 3 for a bow. But we still need a barrel of a sun shell for that. Oh, I'm probably not going to use this trip cast all that much, so I'm not going to focus on upgrading it. But upgrading this fire bow is probably going to be worth it. Weapon stats improved. We need a charter circulator. Find outfits. What do we need for this one? Fanghorn Handler. Still what we need. Pouch upgrades. Upgrade that, but... Eh. I'm needed. Okay. Not yet. Okay. I'm not using the sling all that much. Uh, how do you put 
Carl on the weapon though. Now that we have a slot. Oh, it did Carl's. There we go. But I do not have a Carl that fits. Eyes up here, you could brother. always get a new one, you know? You Alright, uh, we got more side quests here, so let's do more side quests. I assume one of them is by Petra, because it looks like it's right next to her, where she was sitting. Petra, my girl. Hey, Ray. Always open. Aloy. Fancy a game Back for more, huh? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. And I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last Stormbird. week, and Ooh. Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else. I guess we're going to those uh, shattered Cardia refugees again, the ones we randomly stumbled upon. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one, at least not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed, but whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Clean Brokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Am I misunderstanding that? Is she saying we should steal from refugees? I mean, I guess it's not stealing, it's just getting it first. I don't know about that. <laughs> or did I misunderstand what she was saying? Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so, but. Tallinn scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. By law, if you find it first. I mean, true. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. But the guy may steal it. Okay. Petra said Tolland has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. There you are. I guess we're doing this side quest now. And I feel like we should definitely talk to him first before we leave. Another. But yeah, Petra is a oh, lovely character. Hi. And they play a lot more into our character in this game, that's for sure. Hello, Tolland. Why does your name remind me of... Holland? That's uh, you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. 
probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shops closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. <laughs> what a lovely guy. By the forge, ain't you ever gonna leave? Well, I think we have a new favorite character in the game. Jeez. Jeez. Let's check out the side quest before we head to the refugees. <laughs> Tom Holland, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what Sony does, Tom Holland is just always involved in it. <laughs> Somehow. Della. I I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. Is this it's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? They sound a lot like Vaga yeah. from Frozen Wells. <laughs> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I. Uh. But you're just not. I am with a customer. I. I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. But boom One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done in one, machine wrecking. Yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower. Ooh, I like these two. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Yeah. Said we'll know it when we Perfect. see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. They remind me of Baga. But it's probably not dark. <laughs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Hmm. Siblings don't like each other. More news at 12. So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? <laughs> that could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns intact. <laughs> yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Fumer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. A bigger boom. That is the name of the side quest I want to complete. <laughs> uh... Let's. I guess we're doing this one first because it's like right here. I love these two characters. I think these might be my favorite side characters so far that are new in this game, I guess. We're gonna need a bigger boom. I could get around faster if I find a charger to override. Alright, so we gotta shoot off one of these the chargers. horn first. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. And of course, we gotta hit the horn. We got it, and then I assume you can blow you up with the uh, fire. I can also scan you so you are locked in my catalog. There you 
go, and now you're my prey. That horn I showed up. Uh, just move along. Yuck. Oh, we need three of them. Oh, it's just one. Okay. But fair enough. Do we have to shoot them off before we can? Oh, wait, not fire arrows. And then let's switch over here. I'll be with you in a second, Burr. Charger horns for Della and Boomer. Nice. We got what we need. need and that fang horn they were talking about. Ooh. Is music too loud? I'll turn it down a little. It does feel a little loud over time. Turn it down a little bit. Alright, let's get the fang horn rip. Good old thing home rips smothered in honey barbecue. Who doesn't want that? I need more for my own upgrade. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Did we just need one for this quest, or did we need two? Uh, bigger boom. Go out around tingers, change creative. Oh yeah, just one. But let's get two. Let's get the. As they say in French. Rumor said that Fanghorn should be nearby. There's the Fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. Oh, we just have to throw it. But we oh. also need the horn. The stone super sensors are tickling again. Hopefully we get some tap last arrows here. We'll be looting the stuff easier. Let's do that again. No, that, 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 that was bad. That, thing horn they were talking about. that was pretty bad. Okay, I need to hit the top of the horn, not just anywhere on the horn. Damage it. Which makes it a lot harder to hit. But it is what it is. There's the thing. Horn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. That was a cool kill. Shot should do it to that guy. Where are you going?
He's clever, he's just hiding underneath where I can hit him. I give him that. To fire at all. It does also have a freeze or shot canister, I guess, but. Everything I need for Dell and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. Definitely got what we came for. But, uh, let's first head into town here and upgrade. Uh, was it the outfit or the bow we needed this uh, horn for? I forgot. I think it was the outfit. Why is my screen black? Oh, there we go. Here long enough. Oh no, it's the bearer thing we need here. It's the outfit we can upgrade fully. Concentration plus. Empty weave slot. Nice. Which means... Uh, melee defense, range defense. Uh, let's go with melee defense. I actually have two slots. Let's go for one of each. Nice. A weave slot have been unlocked for your outfits. Weaves can be equipped. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I get that. Don't think I need an explanation on that one. Now, let's return to the land boom. Oh, Boomer. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. <laughs> Can I have one? No! Ah. Uh... Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba-boom! Ba-boom? Spike throw launches powerful projectile that can hit an enemy at long range. Due to their long buildup, they have a slow rate of fire and cannot be used while jumping or crouching. Spikes must be thrown at full at full draw in order to penetrate armor. Gotcha. Nice. That's a short little errand. Hey, Red! How's a javelin thrower treating you? Hope you're having a blast. <laughs> Having a blast for sure. <laughs> uh, what was next? Uh, I guess the refugees. I mean, we might as well get a charger on the way. Even though that's part of the main quest, but since it's on the way, why not? I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. Uh, 
I'll take this. Oh, you have to press square to mount your... to get mounted now? Oh, that's gonna be confusing. Oh well, guess we're getting... gonna have to get used to that. Oh, I might change that in settings. Anyway, let's head up to the refugees. I think it's this way. We need to do this quiet and not to spook the herd. I take this, indeed. <laughs> Yelled Aloy calmly. <laughs> I'm going to right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a mount. Hopefully we can learn a skill where we can just call it whenever. At some point. And make things a lot more convenient. Also have to get used to the little camera shake that's happening whenever you ride them out. Uh, shadow oh. taking a beating. Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for chain scrape. machines on their way get to safety i'll handle the rest go lakasha i'll help the nora Shock attack is annoying. Little right, trap over here I can use. I need this. Check on the refugees. GG. Well, the fun of that, I don't think we have far enough in the Nine game for those still. yet. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised, but not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's 
Not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savoir? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about uh, him may, might be dead to said Stonebird. Your priest, Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure. But shelter looks like a more pressing concern. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. <laughs> the difference being... When the usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends. And the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. Yeah, Aloy just not buying into religion whatsoever. Well, at least that hasn't changed for Aloy. There's an Osiram in Chainscrape, Talland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osiram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good? But he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Savohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation. If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. All right. Guess we're heading up. Right, this way. Oh, there's nothing here. Right? I'm not sure if I 
did that in the intended way, but... Am I supposed to care at this point? No. <laughs> it's not like I've been doing most things intended. <laughs> Look at the view from up here. God, I'm gonna take so many photo mode shots at some point. I'm just gonna play through this game. Oh. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. I'm gonna play through this game and just take so many photo mode shots. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. What? Oh. There we go. Straight to the top. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. But... Wait. Jump against the surface, then tap circle to wall jump. Oh, like this. Ah, nice. This, this quest is kind of like a climbing tutorial. <laughs> okay, now how to climb higher. Yellow Midnight Bloom. I guess we'll find out what that's for. Water must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. A dyer can make use of this. Broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. That's a lot of blood. Savahar? There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. Ah, yes. Machines. Of course. Did I really assume it was just gonna be a climb? Would have been too easy, I guess. Machines. Savahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them, or take them out. I don't really have much medicine, so... I'll have to find a cauldron out here to learn how to find that. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. Our Savo are in pretty bad shape. The true sun above me, the true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savo The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> no. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. 
I just need to see the twilight path. <laughs> and my people will find their home. Listen, Lakasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. I mean, this is both cutscenes and dialogue, and both of them have improved massively for sure. Even against uh, Frozen Wilds, where they already looked fairly good. What do you think is going to happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. The fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is at hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Look, I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose Eighth. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sign above me. The true sign before me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sign above me. I gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. The truth, I love me. Hmm. Wait, drop. Oh. A stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Talland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. How did the Stormbird rust so quickly? There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savahar? Hold hmm. pool. I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. This? Oh, a uh, Sun King statue? Since it's broken, I assume it's of the Mad Sun King. They probably tore it apart. Uh -oh. Get out of the way. No. There's Talland. 
with his thugs. Probably gonna be useful later. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Talland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Hmm. You'll have to go through me. Tough break. Find those keepers. Well, that is the law. <laughs> should we hit him with the law or should we... Well, that would be the right choice there. Maybe you'll have to go through me. Nah, find us keepers. Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which, in this case, is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird! Me! Am I right? She's right, Buzz. Blasted love, shut up! <laughs> Okay, you win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. He gave up a little too easily, I feel. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savalhar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. Right light path completes. So I assume if I chose the fifth, fifth option there, I probably would have fight, fought him. Level eight. Nice. Looks like we got some more skills. Uh, I kind of just want to use some skill points on my combat here. Range search master. Nice. Probably go for something here. As well, potion proficiency. Health potions provide more healing, and all potions are faster. To Ooh, yes, sure. All right. Probably also learn some more of the stealth techniques and stuff eventually, but oh well. Let's make combat more fun while we're at it. go back to Petra and just see if she has some dialogue now that um... now that uh, what's it called 
I completed that side quest. My god, that loading screen is quick. I don't even time to stretch on loading screens anymore, guys. Ah, oh, first world problem. <laughs> Speedruns are gonna be tough. My back and my arms are gonna be so stiff. Because <laughs> I can't stretch during loading screens. The pain and suffering from playing on a PS5. So what's new? No? Aloy Any. Machine Hunter. Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. He's still nursing his pride over at his shop. I've seen Karja fuss pots made of tougher stuff than that brittle bolt. Anyway, he knows if he messes with the Shadow Karja, he messes with me. Hmm. I guess that's all then. I'll uh, see you around, Petra. Until next time. For every hand, or for every heart, or very hard, all the damage is needed. Gonna make a giveaway. What? Alright. I guess we're going to Baron Light now. Actually, there's a hunting ground on the way now. Look at it. And we do also have this up here, so. Yeah, we got into some exploring. More exploring. Until we get to, uh... Some more exploring to do, uh, for sure. Oh. Wait, you can jump through here to get to Petra? <laughs> nice! We gotta make that dramatic entrance at some point. <laughs> to get to Petra. Yo, Mercas, how's it going? Am I enjoying it? This game is awesome so far. Oh, Mount Canyon to this location. Speedrunner shortcut? It might be. <laughs> You're the one who cut our holiday short. Guys, yeah, it's worth the amount anyway. It'd be nice if that's possible. We'll see. But yeah, the game is uh, really awesome right now. Have I been up here and seen what's. Inner's valuable catch. You know, that sounds like something we need to check out. And I need to get off my mount here, because... I gotta get used to getting off mount being on the square button now. Instead of triangle. That's gonna be hard to... switch over to. How do you get up here? Doom Wizard, thank you so much for the 10 month freeze up. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the continued support. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the game. Already past the dawn, so just taking in to see how it's going. Oh, you're already past the dawn. Goddamn. You're faster than me, apparently. But then again, I feel like I'm also just looking over everything. Even though I know some made. people would probably argue I'm not that far. But it will. Is there a way to get up here? I just make sure I don't lose my mount here. Yeah, I think Merkaz is gonna play Elden Ring first. I guess Lost Ark too, yeah. Are you still, uh, you're still at ESA, right? There's still uh, two more days left for VSA, right? I have no idea how to get up. Oops. Time to wait. Maybe we'll find that out later. You only got five hours of sleep. Damn. Fair enough. Actually, let me quickly check accessibilities. Can you turn off? Camera shake. While on mount. Uh, auto sprint on mount. That might be useful. Uh, camera shake default. I I don't want camera shake. Um.
camera shake just bellows me, bellows the hell out of me. <laughs> Gonna go do the GTA 4 special and go bowling soon. Nice. Can't wait for ESA summer, dude. It's gonna be hype. But I'm glad it's going well at ESA as well. But yeah, this game is uh, awesome. I'm sure you can see on stream it's also just beautiful to look at this game. And it's so far, generally speaking, just a massive upgrade from uh, what once was. I guess we're getting to the hunting ground on the way here. Let's check that out. Yo, Lexi! Thanks for the 10-month freeze up. And thanks uh, for the have fun, I guess. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your support as well. Come on. Oops. You can use that caster I need you here. It'll be a spark in a hoot. Some guess. I'll take care of this. Clearless. So you decided to visit the hunting grounds. Good on you. Isvod here is all kinds of trials. So hot shots like you can put their machine hunting skills to the test. Or as the Tanakh call it, earning your stripes. I thought hunting grounds were Karja. Oh, the Tanakh have them out west, too. Though if you ask the Karja, Westerners stole the idea from the Sundom. In fact, the Tanakh used this place for a while after they kicked the Karja out of the region. They even left behind some of the special coins they handed out to those who earned stripes. Look, they're medals, Karja ones, more spoils. I heard you can trade them for gear somewhere in the Tanakh clan lands. Pretty gruesome, I know. Then again, so were the Karja during the Red Raids. Have fun bowling, Come you two. Think of it. <laughs> if you plan on going Enjoy west, I could convince say. Isvod to give you some if you aren't stripes here. <laughs> Seems like they might be of use to you out there. Thanks. Oh, and if you happen to play strike, my friend over there has some nifty pieces to trade. Ooh. You need anything for the trials? Come see me. Strike I have pieces. some wares I'm sure you'd find handy. Good luck. Strike pieces. Let's go. What does he have? Anything good? Charger. I have a feeling charger is going to be good. But we need charger circulator. I don't know. Well, pretty standard pieces this guy have. It's not really gonna help. It's always good to have extra. Thank you. Practice your hunting skills, savior. Oh, is it? I could do this. I could oh. trade. Hey, Red. Oh, he's a merchant. What do you need. Where does he have? Oh, he has a rope caster. Probably don't need a rope caster. Thanks for stopping by. Anyway, talk to groundskeeper. My mount is in the way. Ernie, here to train for the hunt, savior. If you're looking for medals prized by the Tanakh, you can earn them here, savior. Oh, and I'd like you to have this if you care to use it. Warrior you Consider my uh, thanks for getting third. Oh, we got trip. that one. Nice. I guess I didn't have to buy it, because we got it for free. Let's go. All Kalja soldiers know that the sun sets on the unprepared. These, <clears throat> these crowns have long uh, readied the hunters to face the fierce machines prowling the western border. From shooting off machine parts to using shark ammo and weapons efficient efficiently, the trials found will be bestowed lessons vital to surviving the Forbidden West. Gotcha. Uh, tear trial or tear trial. Shoot off loot scrounder. Uh, shoot off loot scrounder's power cells. Shark trial. Shark enemies near the scrounder by overloading its power cell with shark ammo. Shark and trap trial. Use environmental traps to set up uh, in grounds to kill machines in shark state. Cool. So I guess we're doing this one. And it looks like they're still time based. They ready to start this round? Let's do it. Grounds are all yours. Just use the ropes to jump in. So shh power cells looted. Start the trial by entering grounds. So I need to shoot off and loot. Ground for power cells, gotcha. 
Can't override that now. God, which one was the boss? The cauldron, if I can find one. Is the boss all the one on the back? I assume it is. So go away. Why is my shot terrible? Actually, I'm doing this wrong. Down it goes. Knocked him down and didn't get it. Oh, hey, it's fine. There we go. I guess that was triple stripes. I didn't notice the time, but that didn't feel like a minute and a half. Oh god, I'm stunned. Ow. Leave me alone. You did well. Not... Get some more medicine here. Any less. Now, claim your reward. A reward well earned. Claim rewards. Small machine core, metal shards, and hunting metal. Uh, hunting metal. Nice. Cool. That one is done. So what was this one? Shark machines near a uh, scrounder by overloading its power cell. Wood shotgun. Go for it. You can head down the ropes to start the trial. I need to shove machines near them. Gotcha. I'm done. I need to hit one. Holy shit. This weapon is inaccurate. Got it. Now stay close to your friends. Thank you. You defeated the challenge. I'm impressed. This is yours, savior. Nice. One more trial to go. All right. Uh, shark and trap trial. You should focus to spot traps. Uh, use environmental traps to set up Set up in the hunter gun to kill machines in the shock state. So I need to shock them and then hit the trap. Gotcha. Sounds easy. Everything's set up. Just use the rope to jump. Do you in. have to use the rope, or can you do just like in the old time where yeah, time just starts as soon as you. Need to get closer. to get a lot closer to hit these shock arrows because their accuracy on this thing is garbage. Jesus. Absolute garbage. But yeah, you don't need to go down. 
um, thing anymore. Or uh, just like in the other game, you don't actually have to take the zip line, you just need to. Should be able to get the two over here. Well, that didn't go well because he took out the trap. That's a bit of an issue. Yeah, I don't have medicine here, so not great. Yes, not gonna be really close to hitting him. I think I need to restart that one. Bell code up. What am I doing? on the d-pad. Why? Come back to it also. This guy's close enough to the trap. Is he? Oh, yes, nice. <laughs> we got it. Hold up to fill it. Oh! 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 Well, I guess I learned that. That was some good hunting you go. did we down there. We completed all the trials here. GG. This is yours, savior. <laughs> Fairly easy, even though we are playing on very hard. But uh, then again, trials like these usually are somewhat easy in this game. I would argue. Or oh, trials like these don't. These grounds are always easy. open to you. Stormbird skies. Oh, we got a new die. Ooh. I assume we're gonna find somewhere where we can use that die. Or can we already do that? Uh. Uh, do, 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 do. Edit we. No, I assume you probably have to go to some merchant thing to use a die. I would assume. But yeah, I guess hunting ground done. Now we need to head up here. Very nice. Look at that settlement right there. Looks good. But uh, first, let's head up here because there is another thingamajig. Did I not finish the quest? What's wrong with the mount? Hello? Hmm. What's back here? Has movement so far? It's good. Uh, certainly, it's still room for improvement in certain areas. But yeah, I guess if I got to finish the quest, we'll head back for that after I've been up here. Especially like uh, climbing in the game. Feels a lot more natural in this game. I would say it probably could still feel a bit smoother, but it's Looks still like a massive improvement from Zero Dawn. Better fill up while I can. 
An old Karja watchtower. Maybe I should check it out. I assume we're gonna have another one of these collectibles up here. And you got a lot more uh, tools or abilities to move around, which is cool. But I didn't think I could talk to the groundskeeper more. That's why I left, so. But, uh. This tower is barely holding together. Made it. Yeah, it's another one of these collectibles. One of those devices. Lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Oh, look at this view. Oh my god. This looks sick. Do you see a horse? That is indeed a horse in the middle of the desert, yes. God damn. See, this is why photo mode was invented in video games, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why else would it be there? I mean, I think we said the same thing about the three horses in Suron. <laughs> Here we go. Now we can talk to the groundskeeper again, I guess. Let me know what you need. Remain vigilant in your travels, savior. Savior? The hunting grounds are open to you. Uh, I mean, I assume it's cleared, right? Let's talk to him, but... You won't find trials like these anywhere else. What am I supposed to do? Nice job, too. Lol. <laughs> That's why you're the mod, I guess. <laughs> it's never too late to practice your skills. Because I've never made a mistake as a moderator before. <laughs> oh, hey, Red. What do you need? Is all the us around just gonna call me Red? Take care, Red. Fair enough, I guess. Another side quest there. And of course, main quest to continue. But yeah, I assume the hunting round is just completed. Time to train, savior. But yeah, I think we have. Hey, wait. Oh yeah, we still have that pit thing, but. Uh, since we need all the skills, I assume, to complete these pit fights, uh, we're gonna come back to those once we actually have unlocked more of the more of the abilities with the spear. Um, right. You wish to practice your hunting skills, Savior? I feel like we should just uh, continue our journey, right? Train for the hunt, I can refill my patch with these later. Mm. 
I guess we're heading into the settlement now. Uh, what was it called? Baron Light? Baron Light. Last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. Oh, God, probably start over here. Maybe that means the embassy's starting soon. This is Kaja. Right, uh, I should find whoever's in charge here. I assume this is the border First, area. I could resupply at my stash. Or I um, taking a look around too. This is the border area for the Forbidden West. The Kaja Sundom and the Forbidden West, I guess. I know there's a lot of uh, side activities here, but looks like he's had a few. But uh, let's uh, do the progression first, and then we can go over all the side quests after. A refugee in jail. Let's talk to Aaron here. Gentlemen, that's our cue. Are you taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. Seems like he's come down. <sighs> let's, yeah, let's go for the fields first, and then more important questions after. How have things been? Since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. Oh. Well, when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. Wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. <laughs> In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. Hmm. Let's ask about Baron Light first. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. But no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. What do you know about the embassy? I know not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. And Aaron also just feels so depressed, dude. But, uh, and yeah, his hair does look quite soft. I, I agree. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Dad, yeah, don't count on it. <laughs> Be careful out there, Aloy. At least I'm glad we are becoming friends again. Can I talk to him? No. Well, time for the embassy, Lighten I guess. Up, 
You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, his second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh them left. Hmm. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh are handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean, stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Be predictable, story. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. Has there ever been something that hasn't gone sideways in this game? This way. <laughs> There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain <laughs> truth got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Can't just have twist for the sake of having a twist. The predictable can be fine if it's really well executed. Just look at Ghost of Tsushima. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Like I always say, Ghost of Tsushima has a very predictable story, but it's just executed beautifully. There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Race myself. Oh my god, look at the view. It's beautiful. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? <laughs> the Tanakh are a tribe composed that. of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. 
Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Hmm. I feel like something's gonna happen if I chase two as I go now. And there's a side quest in this area. But then again, I also really want to just be stubborn about this, to be honest with you. And I'm sure these side quests are not missable. So therefore, we are going to be stubborn. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Oh, well. Far off. Hey, uh, I guess he followed us. But then again, I also felt bad that we left him behind in a way. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. Sure, it's the savior! I don't care if it's the dowager queen herself! The gate stays sealed until that horn blows! I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl! Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's happening? I ain't the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in a way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it! Arrest her! I'd like to see you try! Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. <laughs> hey! Nose off! You stupid bastard! You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It still matter. has to focus, but no beard, Man, sadly. Just in time. We're leaving Aaron behind, but all coming. Fair? So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have well, some backup. Well, I guess we have to come back for those side I quests. I do. We'll see how it goes. I assume? Because I assume I'm not gonna be able to come back for some time. I mean, I could probably fast travel back, right? Nope, travel is disabled. But since they're still on the map, I assume eventually we'll be able to go back. Oh, mother. Look at them. Okay. Time to meet the Tanakh. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the yeah, Karja. Yeah, so magic. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own. I assume to nothing ask is missable, just like the last game. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. Well, somebody got a brain. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A 
fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. I guess he's a complete Tanak now. I am unyielding Fashav, once of the Karja High Command, last of the army of the setting sun. You're Fashav. Avad gave me a message for you, that he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Hmm. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. How did you come to be among the Tanakhs? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I mean, we got time. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate, and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. Hmm. I saw me beg to join them somehow. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So. When they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the Kurut. Little did I know what I was in for. I assume the Coolroot was to be recruited. How? You said the Coolroot is a Tanakh trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the Kulrut must serve the chief as his marshals, 
You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, Marshal Zarakaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Hmm. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace, and now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The Karja need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Mm. I think it was around uh, 90 Jogays. And uh, I'm playing on favorite performance, because 60 FPS. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink as decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! It. The Sky Clan's banner. Well, I guess it's beginning anyway. <laughs> Sound the horn. Marshals. Oh, it's the guy from the trailer. It wasn't easy, but 
I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Ah, uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kajo. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. So I guess the embassy is happening no matter what. But I kinda expected that, to be honest. <clears throat> Yeah, the PS5 has a uh, terabyte. The Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... What? Hear me, marshals! Oh, you go. claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless <laughs> threats me. to intimidate us. Exile. Uh -oh. <laughs> Machine looks corrupted. Hades, silence. Lancers, form up. They're riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! Get to cover! So much to cover. Archers, keep them back. Proving two point oh. <laughs> now nah, we're missing a fast. Somebody that cries for help that we don't really like. Left flank to the Kaja. Run them down. Oh, guess they're not going to make it. Open the gate! Open the gate! Yeah! Kaja! Stand your ground! Fire at will! I don't have a shot!
What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Alright, let's do this. Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Make sure we have ammo ready. Can we shoot right now? Probably not range. Here they come! Time to fight! Alright, so we gotta make sure we use cover as well. here with place canisters which we can use to our advantage I guess you're going down victory for Ricala for Ricala that's not what I wanted to have they need help like they were struck by lightning Oh, nice shot. Love to see it. We've survived worse. You outlanders, 
I'll skin you both! Chief. I'd like to see you try. Grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Shield like that. Better scan it. I can break through his shield if I damage it enough. You've got to get through that shield. Fighting a child. Look here. Now's my chance. You're not stopping me! subsiding. That shield's not gonna save you! Game that. Any more goons, Regala? Your turn. Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today, <laughs> comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. Move out! An act civil war? Sounds like it's gonna be fun to be in between that. <laughs> now, what about those survivors? Get him to the camp. Now. You gonna make it? 
Hey, Sif, Q. You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. So Rashad died? Well, that's not gonna be happy about that. I guess it's gonna be hard for the charger to get peace now. I got you. Can loot the battlefield. Oh yeah, good point. Rip. It's salvage time, boys. <laughs> oh wait, they're getting the loot. What the hell? Let's yoink that shield. I don't think it can take a hit. But I should be able to use it to glide. <laughs> nice. Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Fashav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. Ooh, this Utaru. isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Is it me or does this guy remind me of, uh, what's he called, Keith David? Or am I wrong about that? About Fashav. <sighs> The man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Fwadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out that way. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, 
We can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. Questions about the, uh, the West. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the West. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the dot. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert? <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. Hmm. This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osirum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osirum crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. No silence? Or did he have another way of getting through? I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. So I guess we have the Forbidden West open and don't to worry us now. About your friends. We'll get them patched up. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Attend at the embassy. Do we loot all this? <laughs> no, the Osram got all of it. Damn you, Osram. for later.
I guess we also got the glider. Let's have a look over the map now. So the Bristleback side quest continues here. And there's a known rebel camp. And then all the way down here, Death Store. Go to the coordinates recovered from the spire. Oh. The silence coordinates. Unknown salvage contract. Very nice. Very nice. And the Forbidden West, well, to put it bluntly, looks huge. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the Spire should lead to Silence and Hades. And just maybe, a backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The Blight, the Storms, recall as machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. So what was it? It was Hold Square? It's either Hold Square or I'm going to die. Oh, I see the tall neck. All the way over there. But anyway. This will break my fall. It is Hold Square. We are safe. Whee! Now that is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> to play around with. Can't wait to play around with that. But uh, let me uh, make another manual save here, just so we have saved, because we haven't saved in a while. I know the game out of saves, but might as well have some manual saves just in case something goes down. A lot of light right there. But yeah, it looks exciting to explore. But I'm gonna take a bit of a break now before we continue, because, yeah, I need a little bit of a break. So I will continue in a bit.